So today I am doing a Candida update. Um, so previously I did Candy Clear and I completely cleared my Candida. It was great. It has been several years. It is all back. So I ate sugar again. I didn't give, you, you can't really eat sugar. And my health has just been bad. So I am doing another Candida cleanse. So I've ordered some actual pills. I'm not gonna do the Candy Clear again just because of how much dementia it gave me. So I've ordered something else. It hasn't come yet. When it comes, I can put it in the next video, but I'll put a picture up. Um, so I'm hopeful that will help. And I've been doing garlic enemas and eating a lot of coconut oil. Um, I've actually been eating this evolved chocolate because I'm keto right now, but I'm eating the coconut ones. They have coconut in the middle. They're delicious. They're, they're very delicious. And I know they help fight the candida because they make me bloated, which is like that die off. So I'm actively trying to fight my candida. I believe I have a ton of it. Not only that, I have a very acidic body. So I'm going to the naturopath next Wednesday. Maybe I can do an update on my health after that meeting. Maybe my naturopath can be in the video a little bit, but what I do for her is unless I'm on my period, I will pee and spit for her and she will test that. So she'll be able to tell me, we, five weeks ago, I went to her before doing anything and peed and spit for her and my candida was really ramp rampant because my tongue was white and just from my symptoms, she could tell. So she told me to go keto, which I had a keto pregnancy with my last baby, Esther, and with Becky the previous before that. So I was like, it's keto for like 18 months. How can this be possible? But it's possible. Actually, it wasn't 18. It was like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 months. But I, I round. So I am keto again. I've been keto for five weeks. I am doing garlic enemas. She told me to do one every day, and I have not been able to do that. It's just too much. So I've been averaging one every three to four days, a garlic enema. And I have been... She told me to also do castor oil packs on my liver. And so I was doing those every day, but it caused a lot of mucus in my lungs. So then she told me to do a castor oil pack on my lungs next. I just haven't picked that back up and been able to do the castor oil pack. So I need to start those up again. Um, and she also told me to dry brush. So I'm supposed to dry brush every day for 20 minutes. And so I try to do it in the morning right when I wake up before I get dressed and I try to do it at night before I go to bed. I'm getting the dry brushing in about every other day. It is very hard with a one year old to be like, I'm gonna go upstairs and take all my clothes off and brush my body. You know, um, that's, that's, that's hard. So um, definitely on the weekends I'm getting that done, but not all the time. So those are the three things she told me to do to help me fight my candida when I didn't want to take the candy clear again just because of how much dementia I had. And then I'm also on a host of supplements. And these are supplements that I put myself on just from my knowledge about natural health and my symptoms. So I'm taking Probezyme and Betazyme and GI Complete for bloating. I have a ton of bloat. It's just really awful. I look like I'm about four months pregnant all the time. So that really helps my bloat. I do have diastasis recti um, after my third pregnancy again. So some of that is just my muscles not meeting and I need to fix that and I'm working on it. I also do hot yoga three times a week. I try for three. Sometimes it's only two, but I really try to do it three times a week. And I'm also on brain tincture. I take cayenne pepper pills. I have a lot of heart palpitations. I'm on Intramax and Intramin. Those are vitamins, a liquid vitamin that you take in the morning and you take it at night. Let's see. I think that's about it. I think that is it. Now, brain tincture helps you think, like it helps you with brain fog and it really helps. And I, oh, I also take electrolytes, but that's just from being keto. So, my symptoms, like my chronic illness. So, I don't really have a name for my chronic illness. I, I've thought it was different things before, but I don't really have a name for it. 
or diagnosis. It's just, I have a ton of brain fog. I Sometimes I don't feel awake. Like I feel like I'm watching myself. My brain is so foggy, like it takes so long to pull sentences and words out of my brain. Right now it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's so bad sometimes to where someone will ask me a question and I get angry, like I get upset because I can't think through the question and think of the answer and then you know the person's like repeating the question or like what's wrong with you and I'm like I need more time and some of that is mom brain as well from having three kids so brain fog is probably my one of my biggest symptoms um, I have a lot of digestive issues bloating constipation that I'm working on I have pain sometimes and the pain has been worse in previous parts of my life and, and, and better. So sometimes I have inflammation, joint pain, extreme pain. But right now, I think my pain is like at a one out of 10, which is great. Um, sometimes I have no pain for months and then I have debilitating pain. I don't understand it. I don't know. Um, let's see. Those are probably the three things that I'm dealing with the most right now. So yeah, that's a little health update and candida update and supplements that I'm taking. So that is my life.